<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Looks like it's time for a fortress here. With water in it, of course. It is the water world, so what do you expect? And, uh, hmm. And some people are being loud outside. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. So apparently these th potoboos, or whatever they are here, can, uh, operate underwater somehow. Doesn't really look like they'd be able to, but... Okay, here we got, I guess, some ghost penises, and I guess those heads are supposed to be scrotums? I don't know. S nutsack? Something like that, anyway. I don't know. What the hell do they look like to you? I don't know. But anyway... Well, that was short. Sheesh. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Good stuff. So let's move on here. And we got another card game here going on. And uh, people are still being loud outside. And we got the buck teeth again. Oh well. Let's see what's going on in this level. Oh boy. It's another Jaws of Life level. Huh. <laughs> At least we got fireballs. It's a good way to take them down. And I think there's a vine here if you can... I screwed that up, but... Oh well. What can you do? Okay. Let's keep making our way here. Whoa, look out. There's a vine. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Took him down. Let's try to collect some coins. Did I even see that guy coming? There's another vine. Damn, what's with all the vines here? It's pretty crazy. I think eventually the, uh... I think eventually he'd stop coming and he'd, he'd realize that he's just gonna get knocked out every time, so... I don't know, man. Apparently not. Apparently he doesn't give up. Oh, well. Alrighty, then. There we go. One up, cool. Alright, let's see what's going on now. We got level nine. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Got some Koopa action going on and uh whatnot. Huh. <laughs> well, we got some more Goombas and Goombats and uh whatnot. Some Bobombs. Bobombs. <laughs> And, um, yeah. Jeez, quiet down out there. Nobody cares about your loud engine or whatever. But anyway, got a fire flower here. That's cool. Already got one, but whatever. <laughs> All kinds of white blocks here. Well, that was some lag. <laughs> Alright, what do we got down here? We got some water, of course. What else do you expect to be down here? Go on up this way, and ah, here we go. Cool. Hmm, seems like a lot of times if you run as fast as you can, you almost always seem to get a star, but... There, I got a mushroom. Who knew? So let's go through the pipe here, and um... It's time for the castle. The hell is that thing? I don't know. Looks like some kind of turtle or something. I don't know. It's weird, but whatever. And we got a bluish airship now. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I guess. And we're starting off with these guys again. <laughs> Just take them down before they cause any problems. And we got cannonballs and bullets and, uh, crap. There's a feather. I guess we can pick that up. Yeah, I would close my window right now, but, uh, it's stuck. So, yeah, I kind of can't. Here we got this thing. This is the first game that thing was ever in. 
I also put that in uh, Super Mario RPG, and um, I'm not sure if they put it in any other games. Maybe they did. I don't think so, though, but I could be wrong. But anyway, looks like it's boss time here. I guess this would be Wendy O. Koopa. Honestly, she's, she, she's probably one of the harder ones because of those rings. But we took care of it. We took care of business. So let's move on here. Alright. Takes care of that. Okay. <laughs> King looks kind of like an Indian Mario. <laughs> nice. Alright. So we got another letter. When, when does the princess find so much time to write so many letters? I tell ya. Greetings. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. Okay. Yeah, and we got a music box. Woot. <laughs> Here we have World 4. Seems to be one of the most popular worlds in this game. Seems to be. I like it, though. So this is Big World. Or Giant World, or whatever you want to call it. Got Big Koopas, and Goombas, and Blocks, and uh, not Big Coins, and not Big Leaves, for some reason. Big Clouds, Big Pipes. Um, yeah. Pretty crazy stuff. This is a pretty cool level. Pretty cool world overall. I like it. Here you can actually fly up, and I don't remember what's up here. I don't know if there's anything special up here, but let's do it in- Whoa. Don't be respawning on me now, that ain't cool, man. Fly up this way. Got some stuff going on up here. There's a pipe. I don't know if there's anything to the left, but eh, screw it. I'm not even going to bother. Let's just move on. You can actually skip a lot of jumping from pipe to pipe there. Not really a whole lot there. Just nonsense. Let's take this with us, even though I don't think that'll work. And that doesn't work here. Works in Super Mario World, but not in this game. Oh well. Okay then. Let's try level 2 on. Got some water going on, and uh, some big piranha plants, and the cheap cheeps are still the same size for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that, but whatever. We got a P. That's right, a P. Damn it! I, that always does that. <laughs> Every time, never fails. I tell you. Well, it takes care of that. <laughs> that was a pretty short and sweet level, I guess. Well, looks like we got a one up there, so that's cool. All right, we should have time to take care of the next level. And a mushroom house. So let's do that really quick. Fire flower, okay then. Level three. In this level we actually gotta take on some hammer brothers. Some big hammer brothers. Yay, woot. You wanna make sure you're not on the ground when they stomp, otherwise you'll be stunned and that ain't good. Here we got some of these buzz beetle guys. Not really anything too special here. This level's not really too tough. Has some crazy jumps, but not really anything uh, too out of the ordinary. We got some upside down spikies, which can be kind of dangerous, but not too big of a deal. get through this fodder here, and we got a one-up. That's right, a one-up. So let's get that bad boy. Oh, wow! <laughs> Look at that. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Alright. Takes care of that level, and... We don't have much time left, but I guess we can start the next level. Get a little ways into it, I guess. 
which is a fortress. Okay, then. I guess we can get a start on it, then. That's cool. Ah, here we have the candles, which work just like booze. You look at them, they don't move. You look away, they come towards you, and... I think this is the first ever thwomps that move side by side. I don't think they ever do that in any other Mario game. Could be wrong, but... Seems that way. We got a bunch of dry bones. And a boo, and they're actually blo invisible blocks for you to climb up here, but if you got the feather... Or the leaf... You can actually just fly up and not even have to worry about that, which is pretty cool, I guess. But anyway, this is Lancer signing out of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, and I will see each one of you next time. Yeah!